The Westland Whirlwind began life as Britain's license-built version of the Sikorsky S-55. Early machines used American piston engines and had just enough power for transport or reconnaissance. In 1955, Westland fitted the new 1,000 horsepower Alvis Leonides Major, creating a stronger airframe that became the Whirlwind Has 7. With the extra thrust, the Hus 7 could lift a dipping sonar set or a homing torpedo, giving the Royal Navy its first helicopter able both to find and attack a submarine when it entered service in 1957. Turbine-powered whirlwinds later joined the Queen's flight, frequently flown by Prince Philip and Prince Charles, marking the first regular use of helicopters by the British royal family. The type served in that VIP role until its retirement in 1981.